What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I want to give you an update on this Samsung TV repair I'm doing. I got the board on eBay. I found the board on eBay. <laughs> this board is sold out everywhere. It's very hard to find this board. It's the main logic board for the Samsung TV. And I was able to find out for sure it is a defective main board that I needed thanks to David Nyler and Rogue Dragon. They helped me diagnose this TV. So let's go ahead and we're going to find out if this main logic board will fix my TV. Now, I usually don't get my TV boards from eBay because I have, I've been burned a couple of times. I usually get my TV boards from uh, shopjimmy.com and also electropartsonline.com because they have warranties and the boards I get usually work. Um, uh, I, oh, I did get a board a few weeks ago from tvpartstoday.com. They sent out the wrong board, but I talked to Sarah. She said she'll accept that other board back and give me a full refund. Still waiting on that refund. They got the board, still waiting for them to process my refund. It's been a while. Um, so I tried my luck with eBay, found the board, but the eBayer had 80 something percent feedback. Not really great. <laughs> a good eBayer would have around 98, 99% feedback or higher. So I, I'm gonna show you what's going on. I'm going to show you so far and give you a recap. But uh, thanks to David Nyler and Rogue Dragon, they helped me diagnose this TV. And I'm going to show you how that was done right now. So just in case you guys haven't watched my other videos, I'm going to show you the troubleshooting process. So I plugged in the TV. The TV now is live, but it has no power. It's dead. So I, well, what I do normally is check the standby voltage going to the main logic board, which I put my negative lead on a ground source, which is the chassis of the TV. Let's look down and zoom in. All right, now, according to this chart, my five volts is the third pin up. One, two, three. One, two, three. And this is the cable. This is the power supply cable going to the main logic board. So when I check the standby voltage, the five volts, this is what I get. I get five volts and then it drops down to zero. And then I get five volts again and it drops down to zero. And he keeps on doing that. I need a steady five volts standby voltage to make this main logic board work. So the TV is still plugged in, it still has power. And when I unplug the cable to the main logic board, the backlight turns on. And then when I plug the cable back in, see the light turn off. All the back lights turn off. And then I unplug it. And as you can see, the main board's forcing the TV to shut down. And the light turns on. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in that new board or the eBay board and see if that's going to work. So this one actually has both stickers on it. So usually when you order um, a board, you want to use the sticker number. This is a BN97 number on this sticker, and this is a BN94 number on this sticker. And those are part numbers. And this one only has one sticker. This is the BN97 number. And this is the number I used to order. Now, when TV Parts today sent me the board out, it wasn't. Uh, it was close to the number. The last digit was off, and the TV will turn on and then turn off and turn on and turn off. So it didn't work. So I sent it back. Still waiting on that refund. Hopefully, this. So I'm going to show you the results on this board. Let's go ahead. And so this one actually has a correct part number right down to the last digit, which is good. And but it's missing a heat pad or a thermal pad or heat sink. But you can still test it out. You just can't run it for a long time without that thermal pad. All right, double check your connections, make sure everything is good to go. Plug it in, TV's plugged in, TV is not turning on. 
there's no backlight. So what we're going to do is we're going to read the voltage. And that would be one, two, three, pin three right here. And look, zero volts. It's not even bouncing anymore. So it's dead. Zero volts straight across. And then if I unplug the power cable to the main board, look what happens. Steady five volts. So this is another defective main logic board. Yep, and the backlight turns on. And I plug it back in, and we get zero volts. I knew that, <laughs> and I, I already contacted eBay, and after 48 hours, the eBay actually gave me my refund, and I didn't have to return this main logic board, which is good. So I got my refund on this board, which was around uh, 50 60 bucks or something like that but i'm still waiting for the refund on the tv parts today board i'm still waiting on that one and that should have processed by now which is a little discouraging so anyhow that's my results that is the update on this tv i'm going to try to fix the main logic board because it looks like i can't find the main logic board i don't have a whole lot of experience uh, fixing main logic boards because they have ic's on them and I don't have O scope and I don't have the schematics for these TVs. That's for server centers. I'm just, uh, I, I fix TVs on the side. I used to work uh, for other TV repair shops, but I can't have, I don't have access to their schematics. I don't work for them anymore. And so I'm basically shooting in the dark when I'm trying to fix a mean logic board. It just, I'm basically reading random parts that I don't know where their function is. At least I got my money back on the eBay main logic board. I told the guy I'll give him positive feedback if he gave me my refund, which I did. And so that's where we're at. So if you want to continue this journey with me, go ahead and subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on that bell notification to stay updated on my latest videos. And click on the share button. Share this video to anyone that's interested in TV repair. And if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up.